Welcome back to Better Biomed. I am very excited because I just got my kits in from Amazon. These are metric and standard helicoil kits, and it's everything you need. Not all the components are the best quality, given for the price, they're what, $39 for the entire set, which is insane. But testing out the helicoil, it looks like it's a pretty hard steel. It looks like it's going to work. Let me show you what I got. On the metric and standard set, I got one, two, three, four, five. I got five different sizes in each kit. Each size comes with its own drill bit. Now the drill bits, ah, uh, they're garbage. Let's just be honest. They're garbage. The tip is just completely chowdered up. I wish that this could just get it. It's, I mean, there's a little bit of a fold in there, but that's okay because these aren't going to be our primary drilling bit anyway. These ones are basically to remove the old threads and just basically allow you to run a new tap. Now the tap, uh, the quality is not good. I can see the edges. Oh, look at that. There's a bunch of stuff chowdered on there. Now, mind you guys, I love twist taps. And eventually, I'll probably rebuild these kits with twist taps because I trust them a lot more than these. Although, this looks like, I don't know, it looks like it's pretty, pretty hard. It's pretty hard metal. It doesn't even scratch. So, we just got to worry about the brittleness. But each size has its own tap. You also have your helicoil applicator. It's this little hook, and it's got a slit in the end. And what you do is you first drill the hole, then you run your tap, then you take this applicator, and you thread the helicoil on there. Let's see if it can pick it up. There we go. So you thread the helicoil on there, and I don't know if you can see it, but the end of the helicoil down there, when you're all done, when it gets inserted all the way in, that's when you take your punch and you pop out the end of the helicoil, which is that little flat bar right there. And then you have a new threaded opening. Now this, uh, it's got its pluses and its minuses. If you're going into aluminum, these are going to be excellent because it's a harder metal than aluminum. And aluminum's got a lot of wear and tear. So if you got some clamps or something that are aluminum and, you know, they're starting to get wallered out or you're experiencing some galling, Man, you might want to drill it out and put a helicoil in there because this harder stainless steel is going to give you a much better threaded opening. So it's got plenty of stuff in it. I mean, for 40 bucks per kit, I mean, that's a pretty good deal, guys. I mean, even if some of the components are garbage, that's a given. Um, the only thing that these kits are missing is the Loctite. Because obviously, you put some of these guys in. I'm, I'll have to read up if they prefer Loctite green or Loctite red. I've got Loctite Red, so I might just use that and uh, just make sure you don't get it inside uh, the coil itself, but just on the outside. But anyway, guys, I've got two kits here. Now, what am I going to use these on? I have a whole bunch of skull clamps that I'm going to work on. I've got the old helicoils were ripped out, and I'm going to put some new ones in, and that's going to be my project for tomorrow. But also, you know, we've got a whole bunch of areas where I could use these, even on some of my tools. Like I said, if you have aluminum, like aluminum set blocks or something, and uh, they're starting to get a little weeble wobbly because of uh, heavy use, you might want to drill it out and put a helicoil in there. It's going to service you a lot better than uh, hard steel on aluminum. But that's it, guys. Two in complete kits. I really like these. This isn't that cheap blow molded material either. This is actually a really nice kit. Given some of the components are garbage, but check that out. I have what 133 pieces in each of these kits, so that's that's a considerable amount. Everything just stows in its own well. It claps up just like that, and these will be in the bottom of my rolling tool chest. That's helicoil kits, guys. Thanks for watching.